Cisco College is committed to providing a safe learning and working environment. Many strategies are used to assist the institution in both awareness and preparedness regarding emergency situations. Emergency response plans are developed to outline institutional or individual response procedures for a variety of situations. These plans are supported by established best practices and thoughtful consideration for the well-being of the Cisco College community. OmniAlert Notification System Cisco College utilized the OmniAlert Emergency Alert System to provide emergency notifications to students, faculty, and staff. New students and new hires are automatically subscribed to text updates through OmniAlert, but students, faculty, and staff are also encouraged to download the OmniAlert app for their mobile devices. Faculty and staff who have previously opted out or changed their contact information are expected to re-enroll in the service and download the app to receive potential emergency or weather-related alerts. The OmniAlert login portal can be found at the bottom of the campus safety webpage. Users receive the same notifications that they would through the tech service, along with the addition of being able to call for help in an emergency, sending in tips, and several campus resources. Standardized Response Protocol Cisco College utilizes the standard response protocol in an emergency. The SRP provides a simple guide of what to do in emergency situations such as a lockdown, lockout, evacuation, or dangerous weather event. Posters outlining what to do in these emergencies are posted in the front of each classroom. Everyone has a job during an emergency, so it is important to familiarize yourself with the poster and know where it is. Lockdown. In the case of a lockdown, doors should be locked lights turned off, and everyone in the room should keep out of sight from doors and windows. Everyone should remain silent. Do not open the door. Prepare to evade or defend. Lockout. During a lockout, we secure the perimeter. All students should return to the building. Faculty and staff should assist in bringing everyone indoors, assisting those with disabilities. Lock the doors, increase situational awareness, take attendance, then when everyone is secure, return to business as usual. Evacuate. During an evacuation of the building due to an interior emergency, students should bring their phones but leave the rest of their things behind and follow instructions from staff. Staff should lead the evacuation to the announced location, assisting those with disabilities. Once in the safe area, take attendance, then notify if there are any missing, extra, or injured students. Shelter. There could be numerous reasons for a shelter in place. During a shelter order, staff should lead the safety strategy while assisting those with disabilities and once in the safe area, take attendance. For a tornado, everyone should evacuate to the shelter areas. For hazardous material situations, seal the room. During an earthquake, drop, cover, and hold position. Emergency Preparedness Guide Cisco College provides faculty and staff with a more detailed emergency preparedness guide that is small enough to fit into your pocket. The guide highlights campus emergency contact information what to do in the case of a fire, evacuation, medical emergencies, severe weather, violence, regional emergencies, as well as many other scenarios. The guide also covers avoid, deny, defend, Texas State University's Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training Program. These reference documents are designed to help you respond to emergencies, while detailed response plans are activated by professional responders. For additional information on emergency planning, fire safety, or health and safety issues, please contact the Dean of Students or Campus Safety.